Alright everybody, what's going on? It's Thundershot, and we got a new Dragon Ball Xenoverse scan coming for you today. This scan, I'm going to link you guys to the article down below. It comes from Shonen Games, or Shonen Games, and uh, go ahead and check them out and do their thing. I mean, you know, click the links down below. That's where the article is. I'm going to be reading the article for you, and then I'm also going to be showing the scan on screen so you guys can check it out. We'll be talking about it. Um, and at first, I was like, okay, this is a small article. A small scan doesn't really show us a whole lot. Then I read into all the tiny little text box that they have on here, and I'm like, no, this is actually a big scan. It has a lot of information into it. And then I tried reading the article, what was on the scan, and I got confused, guys. You guys are going to have to let me know. Um, I know I don't report on every single scan that comes through. I don't report on, like, any small bit of information because I think something needs to be video worthy. If they announce, I mean, you know, uh, Super Saiyan's third form, or I mean, not Super Saiyan, um, Frieza's third form is confirmed for Dragon Ball Xenoverse. I don't make a video on, like, tiny things like that because... That's that's a given. That's something that, I mean, you know, you guys should expect to come. I mean, you know, I only like to make videos on topics that are worth making a video on. But uh, I don't know if I missed one where they announced who the evil villain was for this or not, but I was a little confused after reading this. But let me go ahead and get in and start reading the article. So this is what the article had. This is what they have on SeanandGames.com. It's what they've written. They say, with just two months away until the release of Xenoverse, the anticipation keeps increasing with every, and I'm going to read it word for word how they have it, with every new information included in every new weekly Shonen Jump or V-Jump magazine. The latest issue of V-Jump reveals more information on the character and her purpose in the game. She is, be she is a being from a dark world who made Goku's arch enemies much darker and much more evil. Freeze, excuse me, Frieza, Cell, Kid Buu will be appearing in Xenoverse much stronger and much darker than ever. Now, I read that word for word how they wrote, how they wrote it. Also, additionally, the scan also reveals that Super 17 and Goku in his Super, 7, er, in his Super Saiyan God form will be appearing in this game as well. Check the scan below. So I should have the scan full screen. Um, I'm going to try to tell you where the articles are. If they're that tiny, I'll have to uh, zoom in on them or something. But yeah, we do have Super Saiyan God confirmed. Very small picture on the, very, very small picture on the thing. It just says, uh, with, watch a special ultimate attack collection video exclusive, exclusively on B-Jump. It says, also that God descends... Onto the battlefield. This is, again, I think this is the rough translation because it's obviously written in Japanese. It's been translated by a gentleman over at Shonen Games. Um, so thank you for translating this. That way we can read all of it. And I'm going to focus, I guess I'm going to start with the upper left-hand corner of this. What we see is, this is the part that confused me. Was Toa announced the official evil villain for this game? I heard Mira and Toa were supposed to be good people from... Uh, from Dragon Ball Online that were going to be in this game. I thought they were good or at least neutral. They might have been bad, but I didn't know they had these kind of powers. But it appears as if Toa is the bad person for this game because it said with Toa's magic, she makes arch enemies that much more darker and evil. Toa being from the dark world makes Goku's arch enemies much more darker and much more evil. Is that the trigger which causes the creation of a much more evil DB history? Because here's the thing, they announced that there was going to be a new evil villain, then they, then they announced Mira and Toa. I'm going to go to the bottom left real quick because it says... Um, we have to stop Mira and Toa. Why exactly are they making the DB Universe history much more evil? So I guess I don't think they're the evil villain. They're probably working for the most evil villain in the game. I just, it came as a surprise to me that apparently Toa is leading the brigade, but also Mira is there. According to the scan, I don't know. That, that, that's what was confusing me. Anyways, we'll move on. Super 17's announced, by the way. Um, I was watching ZZ Toasty's video, and he pointed this out a little bit. Uh, anything that Sergio has predicted was going to be in the game has been announced. There hasn't really been many announcements that weren't already uh, in Sergio's leaks from before. So Super 17, uh, I don't know if a Super 17 scan was in the game, but one of his moves was in the game. His ultimate attack was in the game. So we were like, okay, maybe Super 17 won't be in the game because we don't know how they're doing GT characters. But uh, even if Super 17 is not in the game, his ultimate's in the game for your custom character. That's kind of cool. Another thing Sergio has also predicted is that one of at least one of Omega Shenron's moves was in the game, which means we might be looking at getting Omega Shenron, uh, not as DLC, but upon release, which would be really cool. Again, none of this is not... 17's confirmed. Super 17's confirmed. Omega Shenron is not confirmed. It's just speculation from Sergio's list from before. So that's something to cool out. Something cool to point out. Also, clearly Super Saiyan 4 Goku's in the uh, thing we worked with. That. Anyways, let's actually get back to starting at the upper left-hand corner like I wanted to. So, apparently Mira's goal is to make all of Goku's rivals more evil. But they're already evil. You know what I mean? They're already evil. That's what's shocking me. Like, what more could Frieza have done? Frieza's whole purpose was to be evil, unless his point was just straight to kill everyone as soon as possible. We do see a picture of Goku holding Gohan. Now, whether it's that's a scene from when Goku first arrived on the battlefield and Gohan had actually been beaten up pretty bad, or that could be because Frieza is much more evil and actually chose to kill Gohan. That could really jack up the timing line if Gohan dies in the Frieza saga. I mean, you know, or however they decide to play this out. It says, this time Goku needs time to recover as he squares off the face against Frieza. I'm assuming that's when your created character will come into play. So much to come from this. I'm sorry, I didn't expect this to be this long of a video already. But, 
Yeah, as far as the uh, anime animation changes, you can tell they're evil because they have red eyes and then their red eyes are leaking. Um, hopefully, uh, this again came from ZZ Toasty's video and I was watching him. His channel link will be in the description down below because I'm referencing his video so much. But uh, one thing he pointed out is hopefully that'll be an option for a customizable character, whether you can throw that on a Mechie and your Saiyan character, Earthling, Majin, I mean, you know, Arcosian player. Um, however you want to do it hopefully that'll be an actual unlockable option for your custom character because i think a lot of people could have fun with bleeding eyes imagine if you could change the color from red to black to blue to sky blue to neon green to whatever the hell you want that would be interesting you could do some cool stuff with that but my main point being that all of the people goku and them faced were pretty much evil none of them had any especially majin buu none of them had any like hope of being a good guy at all so i don't know what more their purpose would be unless they would just get more to the point. Cell would blow up the Earth first chance he got, you know what I mean? He wouldn't toy around and let Gohan go Super Saiyan 2. He would blow up the Earth first chance he got. Majin Buu would just start blowing up every single planet anyone ever tried to fight him on first chance he got. I mean, that kind of stuff could influence it a little bit. But aside from that, the evil people are already evil. So I think my little personal prediction is that they're going to have to go a step, Dragon Ball related step, even further beyond. Uh, with this one, I think there's going to have to be a point if she can turn evil people more evil, there's got to be a possibility she can turn good people good. So maybe, maybe, oh my god, don't quote me on this, but maybe we get that fabled one that everyone's been freaking out and twisting their nipples about for like 10 years now. Evil Goku could be a possibility with this mirror works out. Maybe she jacks up Goku in a timeline and you actually have to stop Goku. That would be cool. That would be a cool final boss battle. If your character goes on and helps these people through the timeline, all the way until the end where Goku gets caught out somehow and then she changes Goku into an evil Goku and you have to try to stop him and, I mean, you know, save the world that way. Maybe Vegeta, she can turn evil people evil. Maybe she can turn Vegeta back to being evil like Majin tried to do, but she'll succeed. You know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know. It's hard to, hard to tell. Hard to tell, but this is uh, mainly mostly information we got from the scan. Super 17's announced, Super Saiyan God's announced. In the bottom left-hand corner, you see we actually get a little animated series, kind of like the movie that came with Raging Blast 2. I don't remember what it was called now. Uh, plan to eradicate the Saiyan. That's not it. Yeah, it might be plan to eradicate the Saiyans with Hachi Act. Um, so we get a little movie with this one too. That'll be cool. Any more animation we can get, you know, is always, always welcome by me at least. Um, hopefully we get some good voice acting in there also and it's not just scenes with subtitles. But we'll have to see how it goes. But that's pretty much the gist of what the whole scan's about. I'm, I want to thank you guys for coming out. Hope you guys enjoyed. I might have thrown some Xenoverse clips in here if I thought the uh, actual scan got boring after a while. But subscribe if you're new around here. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed. Hopefully this video gets rendered out. I've been having computer troubles lately. I'm trying to work through them. I need money before I can upgrade my computer, though. Um, but that's going to do it for me. Like I said, subscribe if you're new around here. I try to report on Dragon Ball Xenoverse news, Dragon Ball Z new movie 2015 news, all that stuff as it comes out. Also, check out some of the playthroughs. I have a Twitch live stream thing that I do cool stuff on sometimes if you guys want to swing by there. Uh, my Twitter link will be down below. All that stuff. Uh, once again, thank you guys for coming out. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I am Thundershot, and I'm out. Peace, guys. Oh, and real quick, one thing I forgot to mention is actually uh, in the bottom right corner, it says the Big Four Patrol bonus all come along with a downloadable code to play as Shaco the Galactic Patrolman, a downloadable code for a set of tur Turtle Hermit clothes for your customizable characters, one Trunks Xeno card for the arcade game Dragon Ball Heroes, and a serial code for the playable Trunk Xeno. I did not have time to do research on this. I believe it was reported in a scan before, but there's a Big Four bundle that's going to come out, and I think it actually... You actually have to do something that goes along with buying a bunch of games, like having Dragon Ball Heroes and uh, the smartphone game that's coming out that might only be coming out for iPhone. I don't know yet. So that's why I didn't touch up on that. I personally don't know a lot about that. If you know anything about the Big Four, feel free to leave the comments down below and educate the people. Uh, anyways, that was a little thing that I forgot. Throwing it at the end. Thundershot out. Peace, guys. Later.